morning, everyone. Welcome to Worldwide Technology Raceway in the city of Madison. Our city is small, but it's mighty. Soon, we will be hosting the largest sporting event in North America. To think, just 10 years ago, racetrack was empty, and today we stand the Worldwide, worldwide Technology's best racers who start their engines on June 5th. For our first NASCAR Cup Series race is truly remarkable. What this gathering represents has been a long time coming. It represents incredible vision of one man and hard work. It represents several others, many of whom are here this morning. I will start off with recognizing my aldermen and all the women who serve as residents of the city of Madison who are here to celebrate with us today. Harvey Haynes, Steve Hampson, Rita Jenkins, Mark Crockwell, Vera Brawley, Mercedes Johnson's Miller, Cynthia Dixon, and Karen Morris. <laughs> next, next, those who gather with me on the stage will each share a few, a few words. Representative Latoya Greenwood, Senator Chris Bill Belt, St. Clair County Chairman Mark Kern, Acting Director of the LMI Department, uh, Economic Department and Commerce, Sil Sylvia Garcia. Representative Jay Hoffman, Worldwide Technology Raceway owner and friend, and a man with a vision who makes all this happen, Curtis Francois. Well. Representative Casey Stewart, Senator Rochelle on Crow, and the other most honored guests this morning who will share an appointment announcement about the up and coming NASCAR race. I'm grateful for the attention of Governor Pritzker, who shows Southern Illinois. In fact, he has been in Madison multiple times and will still become and back. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Governor Pritzker. Stephen. Well, good morning, everybody. It's great to see all of you. Thank you very much, Mayor Ham. Uh, to you and to Mayor Eastern and Mayor Suarez and to St. Clair County Board Chair Mark Kern and Senator Crow and Senator Belt and, and the representatives Hoffman and Greenwood and Stewart. Uh, what an incredible milestone that we get to mark today for the tourism and hospitality sectors right here in Metro East. I want to recognize the leadership of our Department of Commerce and Economic uh, Opportunity Acting Director Sylvia Garcia and our Illinois Office of Tourism for making this moment possible. And their regional counterparts, Darlene Chapman of the Illinois South Tourism Bureau, Corey Job uh, with the Great Rivers and Routes Tourism Bureau, everybody working together to make something great happen for this region. I love that. Love that. So, you know, last year we brought you the exciting news that a NASCAR Cup Series race would be coming back to the state of Illinois, bringing one of the greatest sporting events in the country right here to Madison, Illinois. This NASCAR Cup Series race makes the Worldwide Technology Raceway the country's standout track for stock car, open wheel, and drag racing alike. Let's offer an enormous round of applause, if we could, for the team that made that happen, headed by the WWT owner and president, Curtis Francois. I would clap, but then all these papers would go flying. So my, my apologies, but thank you so much. Um, uh, let's offer um, to them our thanks and, and know that the hard work that's been put in has really paid off, and I know when we were here together, well, a couple of years ago now, it was, uh, as uh, as Curtis was saying, a, just a glimmer in his eye that this was possible. And here we are. Well, in under 100 days, approximately 80,000 fans from all around the country will pour into this region and right here into this beautiful stadium with millions more engaging around the world. All of them will have eyes on one event. So without further ado, 
I'm proud to announce the name of the race, the Enjoy Illinois 300. Thank you so much, Curtis. And, you know, my administration has worked in lockstep with local leaders to bring this race to this region. Uh, with our $700,000 title sponsorship funded through the Office of Tourism, we're showing the world that one of the best places to enjoy Illinois is right here in Metro East, which will see $60 million, $60 million worth of economic impact at hotels and restaurants and so much more. I've long believed that the governor of Illinois ought to be our state's best chief marketing officer, letting the world know that Illinois is the best state in the nation to live, work, and play. That means all of Illinois, including especially right here in Metro East. That's why my administration kicked off our Rebuild Illinois Infrastructure Plan two years ago by rebuilding Interstate 255, which has now gone from worst to first among our roadways. In Edwardsville, we're building a brand new $100 million health sciences building at SIUE. In Belleville, we launched the Manufacturing Training Academy at Southwestern Illinois College. In East St. Louis, we're supporting the renovation of the historic Broadview Hotel in East St. Louis, um, a local mixed use initiative that will help revitalize the heart of downtown. And later today, I'll be at the Lewis and Clark Community College in Godfrey to celebrate renovations of five buildings on their campus. From extending Metrolink to the Mid-America Mid Airport, where we're uh, adding hundreds of jobs at a new Boeing facility, uh, thanks to the work of our county chair and so many other people, um, to creating jobs with infrastructure investments at America's Central Port, to increasing mass transit access through Madison and St. Clair counties. Metro East is open for business and for tourism, attracting residents and visitors alike. I want to once again congratulate and thank the Worldwide Technology Raceway team and Curtis Francois on the return of NASCAR to Illinois and right here to this wonderful place. It marks yet another incredible reason to come visit Metro East and to enjoy Illinois. Thank you. Quite a day, guys. It's been quite a decade. Unbelievable. Uh, in 10 years, what's really uh, really happened here. Certainly didn't have, uh, did not expect to be uh, announcing that Illinois would be the title sponsor of our cup race. I was just happy to open the doors and get the weeds out of the parking lot 10 years ago. Well, thank you, Governor Pritzker. Uh, this is truly a great day. Uh, be up here with so many of us that have been pulling the rope together, in particular, Mayor Ham, uh, who was with me from the very, very beginning. Uh, it's just truly a great day for Madison, the state of Illinois, the region, and for the Raceway team here who has worked so hard to bring a NASCAR Cup race to Worldwide Technology Raceway. We greatly appreciate the support from all of our local officials. It's been just such a great collaboration. To Jay Hoffman, Mark Hearn, Mayor Ham, and James Claiborne, my original dream team that were with me from the very beginning, as well as the team at Greater St. Louis, Inc., and to our new race sponsor, Illinois Tourism, there are so many people to thank, as together we usher in a new era for racing and opportunity in this region. Governor Pritzker, as a token of our gratitude for the state's support, 
and for the sponsorship of the inaugural NASCAR Cup race, I'd like to present you with a special gift. So around here, if you're going to be a part of our team, we like to say, you need a helmet. <laughs> need a crash helmet when you're governor. I come in handy. Thank you. In 83 days, 80 million race fans will turn their attention to this racetrack. And I, for one, cannot wait to see those drivers take the first turn right down here for the first time, enjoy Illinois 300. What a great day. Imagine the stands all around us here, filled with 60,000 people cheering on their favorite drivers and the exhilarating sound of the engines that will power them through 300 miles of our very challenging racetrack. This track breathes excitement. It's going to be an amazing race, capping off years of planning for a multi-day event never before witnessed in the bi-state region. Like a Super Bowl at a World Series happening at the same time, in the same place, it's just gonna be epic. We are working with our partners at Worldwide Technology to bring great connectivity and other state-of-the-art technology to the fan experience. This year and going forward, we will use technology to enhance the fan experience like never before. And all around the raceway, we will have live entertainment, concerts, great food, and driver engagement opportunities that make memories lasting a lifetime. It's not just a race coming to Worldwide Technology Raceway, it's a happening. And while that will be awesome, the long-term impact on the community around us will be our lasting legacy. This one NASCAR Cup Series race, if done well, can lead to many more and years of transformational economic change for the Metro East. Generational impact that will survive all of us. We have the race and now it's up to us to harness this opportunity and make a difference in our community. Maryville University conducted an impact study for us just recently and they project, as the governor said, an impact of $60 million. That comes from hundreds of new jobs, thousands of hotel nights, and thousands more, thousands of more meals and beverages enjoyed in nearby hotels and restaurants. Meanwhile, through our Raceway Gives Foundation, we use the excitement of racing and motorsports to enhance the community, especially the lives of our young people who are interested in science, technology, engineering, and math as they learn about engines, driving, and race cars through our programs. We use our platform to connect STEM learning in a fun and interactive way. So as I look back over the last 10 years, I'm truly amazed at how far we've come. But looking forward is the really exciting view. I can't wait to see this community thriving part because of this race, our partnership with Illinois Tourism, and the potential it represents for all of us. Thanks for being here. Okay. Well, thank you, Curtis, and thank you, Governor. Uh, my name is Jay Hoffman, and I was part of the Dream Team. According to Curtis, nobody else has made me part of a dream team. I think I think James and I were part of the dream team because we're the only one who would take your calls, Curtis. <laughs> so uh, 10 years ago, literally, uh, we got a call from Curtis who had this vision. And this track was within literally a week of being sold as scrap. The vision was something that has led here today. We can't say enough about his vision, his commitment to our community, his commitment to this track, his commitment to the entire region. I'd also like to thank Mayor Ham, who from the very beginning said, uh, we in Madison are gonna help make this happen. And the aldermen who serve on the, uh, the Madison board, thank you for your commitment as well. Without your commitment and votes to do this, this wouldn't be a reality. 
and my colleagues in the General Assembly, thank you for your your support, and thank you, uh, Governor. The Governor and I came here when he was running for office, and he made a statement at the time. He said, we will be here to support your efforts, Curtis, if I am elected governor. And today, with the announcement of the Enjoy Illinois 300, he's done just that. So thank you. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Leader Hoffman. Um, we really appreciate the instrumental role you had as part of the Dream Team uh, in bringing the NASCAR Cup to Illinois. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sylvia Garcia, and I'm the Acting Director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, or as we like to call it, DCO. We're all very excited to be here today in Madison, Illinois, revving our engines in anticipation for the inaugural Enjoy Illinois 300, the first NASCAR Cup Series race at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Madison is the perfect place for this race, adding one more great automotive experience to all Illinois has to offer. From cheering for NASCAR drivers, going as fast as possible here at Worldwide Technology Raceway this summer, to taking a scenic trip along Route 66 and the Great River Road any time of year, all, load, all roads lead to Illinois. So whether you're flying into Mid-America Airport just down the street, or packing up the RV and making a true road trip, get ready to enjoy Illinois. The Enjoy Illinois 300 is expected to draw tens of thousands of people from across the nation right here to the Metro East region. These visitors will generate an estimated $60 million, as Curtis and the, and the governor have said, an economic impact to this area by dining in local restaurants, staying in nearby hotels, and supporting our small businesses, which are the backbone of the Illinois economy. So for folks interested in visiting for the race or any time of year, please visit enjoyillinois.com to learn more about local attractions. We have lots to offer here in Metro East uh, with things like the Cahokia Mound State Historic Site. We're just down the road road from here. Uh, we've got the remains of the largest pre-Columbian Native American city uh, in the United States. Or the world's largest ketchup bottle just over in, in Collinsville, which is one of many fun old photo ops along Route 66 in Illinois. Or you can celebrate Miles Davis and your love of jazz by visiting his childhood home in East St. Louis and then driving the Great River Road up to Alton to Miles Davis Memorial Plaza where you can get your picture taken with Miles Davis himself at the bronze statue. Um, there's so much that Illinois has to offer, and it has something for everyone. So visit enjoyillinois.com today and put together your travel itinerary. We are thrilled to be the tighter sponsor of the historic Enjoy Illinois 300 and look forward to welcoming NASCAR fans to our great state time and time again well into the future. With that, I'd like to introduce Mark Kern, Chairman of the St. Clair County Board. Thank you so much. You would have thought we were announcing a wind farm today, <laughs> but we are. We got something a heck of a lot better. Uh, you know, yesterday we turn on the race and we have to pinch ourselves because we are going to be part of that. This region is going to be looked at uh, like Phoenix was and, and like all the other regions that have a major event like Curtis is bringing to, this, uh, to, to us. Uh, it doesn't just happen out of the out of the air it, it happens because of a lot of work it was literally March 10 years ago that Curtis gave us a call and we went to lunch and we talked about his vision for this facility he has delivered on that vision he's done everything that he said he's going to do Econ <laughs> economic develop development people in this region have always talked about we've got to grow the pie we can't just keep on uh, stealing from one part of the region to the other, uh, making the slice of pie for each of us a little bit smaller, but, but make that pie bigger. Well, Curtis has given us not just a bigger pie, but a double layer cake. And this cake is a major deal for this region, for St. Clair County. It's gonna put us on the map uh, with tourism. It's gonna fill the hotels. It's gonna create shopping opportunities, loads of jobs, because of the work of everyone on this stage. Mayor Ham's vision from, from long ago uh, that is coming to fruition, Jay Hoffman and his work, all our senators, Senator Belt and, and uh, uh, everybody on this stage, all doing a great job, but they couldn't do it without the governor. We've got a governor who remembers Southern Illinois. Everything he does, and initially when he ran, he talked about wanting to re-energize Southern Illinois. Well, he's doing it. He's, he's He's a man of his word, and he certainly uh, uh, 
uh, when he gets with good business people like Curtis, we can make great things happen. Thank you. Good morning. I, I think it's my turn. Today uh, is, an, is a very exciting day here in the city of Madison. We are standing here at the Worldwide Technology Raceway, one of the top racing venues in the whole country, to celebrate the upcoming NASCAR Cup Series race in June. And how many days away is that again? It's about 83 days away. As state senator, I'm proud to represent the great city of Madison and the hardworking community that lives here. The, this raceway has made essential investments over the years to get to where it is now, a place that brings diversity, revenue, and excitement all together. We are making it known that the Metro East and surrounding St. Louis area is a motorsport destination today and for years to come. Millions of viewers around the world will be watching the race on this track. The economic impact this event will bring is exciting. We've had a hard last two years with the ongoing pandemic, and because of events like this, I'm pleased to know that we'll bounce back better than ever before. This is an enormous economic boost for our community and the Metro East that will uplift local businesses, hotels, restaurants, and more. I would like to take a moment to thank all the hardworking individuals who were dedicated to making the Worldwide Technology Raceway known. And with that being said, it is my honor to bring up uh, my representative, uh, Leader Latoya Greenwood. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a great day in the Metro East. We should be really happy and smiling about this special occasion. I'm delighted to be here for this celebratory occasion and to show what teamwork looks like for our region. This is about jobs and creating opportunities, economic growth and development and tourism for the community of Madison and the surrounding communities in and around this racetrack, this raceway track. I thank the governor for his leadership and my colleagues and the raceway administration, Mr. Francois, for remaining steadfast in getting us to this day. We will be revved up for Enjoy Illinois 300 right here in the Metro East. Please join me in welcoming our governor back to the podium. Thank you. Happy to take any questions from members of the media. Yes. So we have our Illinois EPA on site with local officials, uh, making sure that we're uh, protecting drinking water, that we're doing everything we can in the area to avoid uh, any further environmental uh, damage. And of course, we've uh, contacted the Attorney General, working with the Attorney General to make sure that we hold the company accountable for all the expense that will no doubt ensue as a result of this bill. Mm -hmm. breakdown between uh, one state and the other. I will say, though, that uh, there's an enormous amount that will go into businesses that are right here in this area, uh, here in Madison, and of course across Metro East, people will be staying in hotels, people
will be using the facilities all across this region. Uh, restaurants, I mean, we have some of the great restaurants uh, that can be found in this area on either side of the river uh, on this side uh, in Illinois. So I'm excited about the business it'll bring to the region. But, you know, we need to think about these kinds of projects as um, regional and whether there's benefit to uh, another side of the river along with ours. Uh, that's okay. We've got a, you know, Illinois is surrounded by rivers. Uh, and so we have to be thinking in a regional fashion if we want to lift up the, the businesses, the people who live on the Illinois side of the river. Uh, it needs to be thought of as a, you know, a group effort, a, a, an effort on both sides of the river and by multiple states. Yes. Well, we've been chomping for the bit for some sunshine and warm weather so that we can do uh, a lot of things. Right here, uh, you'll see the beginning of our new fan walk, which will be uh, purpose-built so that the fans can interact directly with the, uh, the teams in the garages right here. Uh, throughout the entire facility, uh, we are doing projects. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of uh, juggling snowballs in the, in the snowstorm here with different things going on all over the racetrack, suite renovations, roadways, pavement, entrances, working with IDOT hand in hand to make sure that the traffic flow works very well. Um, just so many different projects that, uh, that we've got underway to make sure that on June 5th, we are showtime ready. So this is the first of a, uh, a multi-year program that we're working on. Ultimately, we have a $40 million project. Uh, we're just in the first phase of that. It will ultimately end with a brand new suite uh, unit right here uh, and many other fan amenities. NASCAR Cup is coming to Worldwide Technology Raceway. On June 5th, 2022, for the first time ever, it's Cup Time. We're really, we're here for a really fantastic reason. Uh, to celebrate another great win for our great region.